Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Hi, and uh, welcome again to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. What I want to show you guys today is uh, in the physical inventory journal, how we do physical inventory. Uh, Basically, I've been told that we have inventory of coffee mugs in two locations and I really want uh, the people to do an inventory check in those locations uh, for how many we have. So, if I go right in here um, and look at my item, uh, and take a look at the coffee mug, there it is. And then go ahead and take a look at the availability and see that I have um, 795 in blue and 190 in red. So I want the people in the warehouse to take a look at that and count and record what they find in NAV and update the quantities. So that's typically, typically, typically what we call a physical inventory count. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the physical inventory journal. Now there are two in a Navy, the warehouse physical inventory journal and physical inventory journal. The difference between those two is if you're running full warehouse with bins, uh, then you want to do the warehouse physical inventory journal. Otherwise you want to do the physical inventory journal. So I'm just going to go right in here. Um, and then I want to see how much I have on inventory. So I just hit calculate inventory and that sets up the physical inventory journal for what you want to count. Uh, if I don't put any filters here, I'll get everything in the system, all items. If I only put a certain location, I get it for a certain location. Uh, in this case, I only want to pick the coffee mug because that's what I'm interested in. And I look at that like here. And I actually want to see that across all locations. Um, so I'm going to send this out to every location to go and count. I just hit OK. And it brings up, yep, OK, the system thinks that you have 795 in um, the blue location and 190 in red. All right, so they go out and count. And it comes to light that we do actually have 700 and 90 in the blue location and 195 in the red location. Okay, so basically five were misplaced uh, between locations. And notice that the system automatically puts five here, saying that there's a negative adjustment of five that's supposed to happen in the blue. And then there is a positive adjustment of five that has to happen in red. Okay, so now somebody, of course, comes and checks this over and says, okay, did you really find that many in each location? Yes. All right, then we record it. So we go ahead and hit post. And I post the journal. Now it's successfully posted. I go back. Now I look at my item. And let's see the availability now by location. And now it's 790 and 195, and my inventory levels have been updated. And that's it for the short physical inventory journal um, tutorial. <laughs>